What's good, y'all? Desi Dez back with another video, you know what I'm saying? Alright, in this video, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? This is a topic that, you know, basically, it happened like a long, 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 long time ago. But at the same time, like, I wanted to get my perspective and my, you know what I'm saying, my opinions on the Michael Vick, um, the dog fighting situation, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I remember, like, you know what I'm saying, watching it when I was younger, like, you know what I'm saying? I was seeing, like, all the. You know what I'm saying? The pressings and clippings on about he was dog fighting and everything, which at first I was like, I didn't know what a dog fighting was. But then, you know, that's when I, over time, that's when I seen what it was or whatever. So I was like, oh, man, man, at first I was just like, you know what I'm saying? People do it all the time. Like, you know, like it's, but I think, I, I don't know, I think by him being like an athlete and then also I think, because I think, you know what I'm saying, when they raided his house and everything, I can say they raided his house, but like, of course, they went to his house, and then you can see, like, on camera, like, you know, on the helicopter camera, like, you can see, like, the section where, like, all the dog fighting would happen, whatever. And then, basically, that's when they say they found, like, a bunch of dogs, like, just buried, like, pretty much the ones that, that was fighting and lost, and probably dad, you know, so, okay, they buried and whatever. So, it's just like, ah, so, I remember I seen that, I was like, wow, but, but, you know what I'm saying, but before then, you feel me, like, you know what I'm saying, you, you seen, you know about Michael Vick, like I say. <laughs> like I said, like I said, he could throw. Like I said, he could throw the ball. But at the same time, he was more. I ain't like. I thought he was a running back because yeah, he used to take off. I was like, dang, that boy gone. You feel me? But like I said, he did his thing in Atlanta. I think he he signed like a hundred million dollar contract with Atlanta. I believe. Yeah. Which he you know, he deserved it. I mean, hey, it was relevant. You feel me? So, but like even in that documentary uh, about uh, Michael Vick, I think it was on ESPN. Yeah. He was just like saying all it like his whole time like you know, how he was. You know, so he was just loved in Atlanta and then of course the lifestyle of Atlanta, especially at nighttime. Yeah. So of course you know so he got into that and then of course he he also admitted like he said he did hang out with like the wrong people at times, you feel me? Which you know, hey. And you, you and I'm saying he just like me. Like I don't judge nobody but at the same time once I peep out like how you are, like how your ways are, it's like nah I'm a I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna cut you off right then and there, you feel me? But but uh, but even like I said, as he was growing up, you know what I'm saying? You know, so he was talking about, he said he had, he had got two offers in high school. In high school, when he was playing, you know, so the coach, like I say, coach just noticed his speed or whatever, but he was a quarterback. He said, you know what? I'm just about to make a, I'm just about to just straight up draw quarterback draw plays, and you you do the rest, you feel me? So, of course, they showed the highlights and everything. And then, and then it came down to, I think he chose, he, he had to choose two schools. It was, it was either Virginia Tech or Syracuse. He said he would have went to Syracuse. He said he heavily would have went there, but he was like, you know, uh, Donovan McNabb was going to Syracuse. So he said he kind of wanted to make his own way, but you know, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, you feel me? So once he did that, you know what I'm saying, he went to Virginia Tech and did his thing, and then he got drafted by Atlanta. Because I think they, I think they traded up for him, or, or did they already had to pick? I think they traded up for him. I'm not sure. But so once he did that, you know what I'm saying, he got drafted, and then, of course, you know what I'm saying, he did his thing in Atlanta, you feel me? And, Everything was all good, but then that's when they said on the documentary, they was like, yeah, police was like surveilling, like, you know what I'm saying, surveying his house, like, just like laying low in the cut, like, just watching him or whatever, man. But then that's when his family used to be like, wait, wait, why are they watching him? And then, so then that's when they seen what he was actually doing. They was like, oh. Uh. So, so eventually, like I say, I forgot, I think it was one of his friends, you know what I'm saying? Being, you know what I'm saying, just drawing attention to themselves and probably doing a lot of this, you feel me? So, one of his friends did that, and then, of course, you know what I'm saying, that's when it made, it became more and more suspicious. So, then, I think one day, that's when they finally searched his house, you know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, the little section, like, they weren't even, like, too far from his house. But the angle, I, like, if it was, like, on, like, if he was on ground, yeah, it was, like, it was hard to spot because it was surrounded by trees or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying? But, on, like, on the helicopter camera, like, you could see, like, what he was doing, all the dog fighting and everything. So, so like I said, of course, you know what I'm saying, he had gotten in trouble because, you know, like I said, people do it all the time. I never personally seen nobody dog fight before, but I just know just about it. It's just like, yeah, people, they going, they do it all the time, you feel me? But at the same time, it is illegal though because, you know, it's just, it's, it's just illegal, put it like that. So, but then, of course, you know what I'm saying, he did his time. Then, like I said, he went to court for a little bit and then, uh, I think that uh, he was in jail. I forgot how long he was in jail, but yeah, he did. He did some time. You feel me? And then of course, Atlanta. They, you know, what I'm saying they 
cut his contract. So I was like, dang. So he lost that. And then I think the house he's living in, he lost that too because, yeah. I, th- I think that's just like, it's kind of like, you know, some drug dealers, basically, they, uh, when they get, you know what I'm saying, raided or whatever, yeah, the house can be, yeah, ain't nobody living in there, so, uh, but it was just like, dang, so, of course, you know what I'm saying, he was getting the support and everything, which, only thing with that is like, okay, yeah, dog fighting is illegal, though, like I said, they do it all the time, but it is illegal, and secondly, like, people just were treating it like, this is what I didn't like, people was treating it like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's just a damn dog. It's just a damn dog. It's just a dog. No, you wrong because dogs have lives too. Literally, like if you see people like they have pet dogs, like literally, like that's family. Like you feel me? So it's just kind of like you know what I'm saying. In a way, it's kind of like yeah, that's in a way it's kind of like that's murder too. You feel me? It's just it's just in a, just with dogs. You feel me? But at the same time, like say dogs have lives too. You feel me? It's like a dog is not like no like no spider or a roach or you know what I'm saying. Or insect or nothing like that. No, that, that's legit like another live or whatever. So, so like I said, that's why I didn't like people. Just like, it's just a damn dog and all that. Like, no, like, no. But like I said, because a dog, nothing, a dog, dogs as pet is, is going to become, eventually it's going to become family. Because I know plenty of people who have, who've had dogs and then once the dog passed away, oh yeah, they crying. They crying like they lost a sibling or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? I, I'm understanding. Like, I never had a dog. Like, I've had a few dogs, but you know what I'm saying? We didn't keep them that long because, you know, I just... I'm guessing we didn't keep them long because, like, at the time, we wasn't... Me, my brother, and my sister, we weren't responsible enough to look after our dog, so, of course. But, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, we didn't, we didn't, like, we didn't neglect the dog, you feel me, so... So, like I said, so, when people saying, like, oh, it's just a dog, no, I totally disagree. At the same time, a dog has a, has a life, too, you feel me, and most times, like I said, them dog, most of the time, them dogs be so innocent, man, it's just, like... They just be trained to, you know what I'm saying, to dog fight or whatever, which it's just like it's, it's a way okay, you could train a dog to be like a like a guard dog or everything, but same time I ain't finna have a dog fight another dog just nah, cause I think yeah, I think they was making money off that too, whatever, cause it was it was somewhat like a little business or whatever, but cause basically you making bets on okay, you think this dog win or you think this dog win, you know, so you know what I'm saying, like I said, in a way it is it is illegal, you feel me, but. At the same time, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he... Like, he did he did what he did or whatever. But at the same time, I feel like he shouldn't have been, like, you know what I'm saying? Just crucified, like, the way he was, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... Because, honestly, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Had it been, like, a white person, oh, yeah. They would have, you know what I'm saying, did some time. But it wouldn't have been a big story or whatever. But, yet, yeah, of course, he was... Of course, yeah, he was Michael Vick and everything. But he was a black man also. So, that definitely played a part in it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So... Like, like I said, eventually he did his time or whatever, and then, you know, he he got back out, and I ain't gonna lie, no team really wanted to give him a chance, because, you know, that's just what happens, like, you know what I'm saying, once you get in trouble like that, you do some time, oh yeah, you get out, oh, put much everybody that moved on for me, but I, I respect Philadelphia, because they gave him a chance, and then, because I think they still had Donovan McNabb, I think, as a matter of fact, it was Donovan McNabb's idea to blame Michael Vick, you know what I'm saying, he was like, you know, give him a chance or whatever, then. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I respect that, but at the same time, it's like, all right, but you know, you know this man's talent, like, so it's like, hey, if you get hurt and this man come in and play good, it's just, most likely you out the door, which eventually, that's what happened, because, like, I think Donovan Matt, he had got hurt, and of course, Michael Vick stepped in, and he did his thing, so, yeah, but I remember, because I remember watching that on ESPN, they was like, it was like, too long later, they was like, they traded Donovan McNabb to Washington, I was like, well, damn, but then, I was like, well, they got Michael Vick, and then, of course, Michael Vick signed another Five year, hundred million dollar contract. So I was like, hmm. Cause I remember he uh he said in the documentary he was like, I forgot he was a family member or like a family friend. He was like, he said, boy, he said the Lord must love you, <laughs> cause he was like, you know, say, hey, cause he basically everything that you lost, he gave back to you, you know, something with that contract or whatever. So, but then of course I seen, yeah, he said he tried to get the guy who he was hanging with. He tried to get him a second chance, but yet the guy still doing, you know, what I'm saying still doing just stupid stuff, you know, what I'm saying. Pretty much like getting him back into trouble, so he was just like, he said it was just a point like he just had to like cut him off. I'm just like, yeah, but people like that, but like, <sighs> like I understand you don't judge nobody. You feel me? Like, you want to give people chances or whatever. But same time, like if they come back, keep doing the same stuff, bro. It's like, like it's pretty much like after the second time you gave him a chance, like if they doing the same thing, but after that, it's nothing you could do for him. Like, literally, like you just 
all you can say is just like, just come over, like, hey man, good luck, bro. So, but you know, what I'm saying, Mitchell, like I said, he did his thing in Philadelphia, and then I think he went to yeah to the Jets or whatever, and then after the Jets, I think he went to the Steelers, but he didn't really play too much with the Steelers, and of course he was tired. You feel me? But but in that, like I say, you know, what I'm saying. It's like I say, luckily, like I say, even me making this video, I don't want to bring no traction back to, you know what I'm saying, the dog fighting situation, you know what I'm saying, because I believe, yeah, everybody's pretty much moved past that guy. I think he's doing, like, uh, ESPN, uh, NFL Network analyst stuff or whatever, so it's good, like I say, even after football, like, he's still maintaining a good lifestyle, you feel me, which is good. It's like, yeah, they, he got his second chance, and like, he's taking advantage of him, which, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to just get a second chance and do the same stuff, like, you know what I'm saying, but... But basically, like I said, yeah, that's that's just my take on that, you feel me? Like I say, people should just look at it like, oh, it's just dogs or it's just a damn dog. No. Dogs got lives too, you feel me? Especially innocent dogs. And you got trained to be like a uh, dog fight. Like, nah. But but like I say, yeah, he you know so he he you know so he did his time and then he of course he apologized for it and then you know so he recovered from it and he doing good now, so I'm proud of that, you feel me? So but like I said, yeah, that's my take on the Michael Vick um, dog fighting situation, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Down with it regardless. Also, share the video. Hey, but other than that, hey, to my next video, you already know what it is. I'll see y'all in a minute.